Greetings. On the occasion of the International Women's Day, I'm pleased to share that the financial sector policies have been customized and enhanced to include components of gender equality. This takes into account that it is important to empower women economically because they do make a significant contribution to the economic growth of our country and to the livelihoods and well-being of their families. So in this regard, I'm pleased to share that our financial sector development policy, our national financial inclusion strategy and the Bank of Zambia strategic plan have been mainstreamed with components of gender equality. For example, we want to address barriers to financial access by enhancing women's access to collateral. So we do have collateral regulations that have enhanced women's ability to use movable assets for collateral because many of their businesses do have assets that fall within this category. In addition, we also want to empower women with financial education and literacy to better manage their businesses, to pitch them and to further access finance. And lastly, we are working with financial institutions to enhance the model of financial services and the value proposition they provide to women. One of the models we are looking at is a model that is about access to finance, to networks and knowledge. So access to networks is about women coming together with financial institutions, trade organizations and associations to have linkages to business opportunities. Access to knowledge is about incorporating aspects of business management, finance, planning, investments and at the personal level, it's also about helping women have financial information about their long-term benefits such as retirement planning, insurance and the information available about products for family members. So I'm very happy that um, gender equality is very integral to the financial sector. It aligns itself with the sustainable development goals on gender equality and in this regard we're leaving no one behind. So happy International Women's Day. We are just coming from the strategic plan which ended in 2019 and we have a new strategic plan. In this plan the bank has made a conscious decision to include issues of gender, particularly in the area of looking at the financial sector, how we can facilitate and influence what is happening in the financial sector in terms of reducing the gender gap. And apart from that, we have deliberately come up with a gender strategy as well as the gender policy. Now, this is in-house. What we are saying is that we need to create opportunities, equal opportunities for men and women in the Bank of Zambia so that the reflections and the projections that are coming from different sources that it's going to take more than 100 years to reduce the gender gap and have equal opportunities. We want to contribute to that and begin to reduce this gap so that the opportunities that are given to men they are the same opportunities that are given to women. And this is what we are doing as the Bank of Zambia. And for us, it is a continuous process. And we hope sincerely that with the role that we play as a regulator, what we have and what we are doing will have a multiplier effect on the entire financial sector, particularly the commercial banks and those that we are regulating.